Apologies, guys. I've changed my mind again, and I think it would be best to actually create everything from scratch. I'm going to scrap the mobile version of the website for now, but it's going to be exactly the same process if you do have to create a mobile website. I it, it just flew over my head that I should probably teach everything from scratch so that you guys know exactly what to do at each stage for each element that you want to add to your website. Maybe using templates is good, but maybe not for the very first time you're going to do this. So dream over time, we're going to go to create new. And from here, let's see, there's anything else I could use? Basic layout. No, I'm just going to go new document from scratch. And I'm going to choose HTML. The title of this is going to be index, uh, just like homepage, right? Uh, I'm not going to do any CSS yet. CSS is going to come afterwards. So I'm going to show you how to create your CSS file as well. I'm going to go to create and that's it. This is all you get. Let me just get rid of that one line. This is all you get when you create a brand new document. You don't get anything else, right? And when I go to live view, you don't see anything because th this is actually just an empty document. It just says there's an HTML file here. It has a head and the name of the file is called index or homepage. Uh, it has the head stops here, the body starts here, the body stops here, and the HTML stops here. That's all that's in an HTML file. So the first thing I want to do, this is a very, very old, rudimentary, not a great way of making a website. But because we're going from scratch, uh, I think it, I might as well show you this way. Now, I'm going to, this is going to be some very weird advice, which you probably won't get uh, from everyone else. But keep in mind, you will need at some point to optimize your website to make it look better, to improve it in some way. So the very first version of your website, which is probably going to be this version, do not make it look perfect. Do not make it load super fast. So don't use the nice quality small images. Use very large images that will take a while to load because when you come to the section that says optimize your website or improve it or ask people for comments, if everything is perfect, you're not going to get many comments. That's number one. You're not going to get enough points to review to then fix your website. That's number two. So you might actually lose marks for those sections. Make your website look okay-ish, make it work, I would say. And even some elements, not every element has to work. Because when you give your website to people to test it, if some things don't work, that's something for them to comment on. This is That's a very weird way to do this, I know. But if you do it that way, you guarantee yourself getting marks later on. I'm going to leave mine in split view, as I've said. I'm, I'm just going to put my stuff in. I'm not going to worry about um, it being lined out properly, it looking good. I'm just going to make sure everything is there. This is roughly what I said I wanted my website to look like. So let me go ahead and try, at least try to create something that looks like this first. Now again, don't make it perfect. So first thing I'm going to do is probably insert my banner. So let me go ahead and do that now. So if I go back to Dreamweaver, I'm just going to go to make sure you're under the body tag. And I'm going to go insert. I'm going to go to image. And this is my banner, which I downloaded. So make sure you have yours in the right folders. And I'm just going to click click on that twice. or an, And that comes into Dreamweaver perfectly fine. I'm not going to try and make this perfect again. I'm just going to put everything that I think I need in and leave it at that. The next thing I probably need to do is insert my buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download my buttons and show you guys how to insert rollover buttons next. This is going to be a long-winded process because I have a total of five buttons. So I'm going to need to download each one. And for every one I download, I'm going to need to download the up and the over state. So let me go into this. I'm Remember to do this, to download it first as a PNG. We don't want it perfect first. So I'm going to click on File, Download, a PNG image. That starts a download. I'm going to close this page now and go and download the second one, which says a 01 Home. And do exactly the same thing. Go to File, Download, PNG. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to move these two, for, for, uh, these two files into the correct folder. So I'm going to open my Unisix folder, have this on the left. I'm going to open my Downloads folder, have this on the right. And what I'm going to do is simply go into my website folders where I have images and all of that stuff. And as you can see, I've got banner here and I've got rollover here. I'm going to copy the two, the one that says up and over, home button up, home button over. Okay, and we're going to make sure it's the PNG one. So highlight these two and drag them into my rollover image folder. That's perfectly fine. Now I'm going to show you how to do this one first, and then we can go ahead and do all the other buttons. I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. 
I'm going to go to insert and there should be something that says rollover. Insert HTML and it's going to be under rollover image. I just found it not too long ago. Here we go. Rollover image. Click on that and it's going to ask you to put in the name of the button. So the name of the image. I'm just going to call this one home. And the original image is not the over one. So there's going to be up and there's going to be over. Over is the one which is going to be obviously rollover image. So I'm going to choose original image. So not the one for me with the line. Now you can do whatever you want. So if you've decided that your rollover is going to be the, the one that's really pretty and then it's going to go to normal, it's up to you. It really doesn't matter. So mine is going to be up. And then the other image, which is going to be the rollover image, is going to be that one. So I'm going to browse again, go to that same folder and go to where it says over. And alternative text is something which we should ideally have. So this is going to be for people who are um, visually impaired. When they move their mouse over that section, they are going to have a screen reader installed on their PC. And it will actually read what that says to them. So they can actually select it if they need to. So it says, when clicked, go to URL. I'm not going to worry about this one yet because I haven't created my other pages. So as soon as we create our other pages, I'll put the URL here. So for example, I might be on the contact us page. When I click on the home button, it should take me back to the home page. So for now, I'm going to just click OK. And as you can see, that comes in. And what I will do is preview this just to show you what it looks like. Go to file. Go to real time preview. And I'm going to choose Google Chrome. It's going to ask if I want to save. I'm going to select yes and choose the location I want to save in. Give it a name. This is the index page of my website. So the very first page of my website is typically called index. I'm going to save this in my GTA website folder. And I'm just going to click save. And when this comes up in Google Chrome, which is here, when I move my mouse over it, you can see it changes. Now, this is not in the best position, so I will fix this later on. To fix that issue of the image showing up here on the web page, what I might do is, after the banner, which is here, right? I'm just going to click after there, and what I'll do, I'll insert a table. I'm going to go to Insert, Table, and I'm going to want one row, so that goes from left to right, and five columns, because I have five buttons, I'm going to put my five buttons inside these columns. Click OK. You don't need to change anything else for now. I've got my five columns, well, my five cells here. I'm going to go click into that middle one, go to Insert, go back to HTML, and go down to where it says Rollover Image. This thing is going to show up here. I'm, look, I'm going to click on where it says Next. If yours doesn't show up, that's perfectly fine. Click on Next, and then from there, you can browse for the files you want. This is what you're going to see come up. And again, I'm going to change the image name to, I think this was Home Button. No space. I'm going to take the space out. The original image is going to be the one that says Up. I'm going to click on Browse, and I'm going to simply click on the one that's Up. This is the normal looking image, right? Click on Up. Do OK. And then I can click on the rollover image, and I can do Browse, and I can do over so i've got both my images there now where it says alternative text it's always a good idea to fill this in again this is going to be for people who um, have issues seeing and when whatever you type in here this is what their their screen reader will read to them so this could be home button and that should be it again i'm not going to add anything for the url yet before i add url stuff i'm going to create all my pages first and then I can link them so that I don't have to keep going back and forth and doing it again. But I'll show that to you as well, not to worry. I'm going to click OK. And that's it. My button is in there. But to preview this, I'm going to go to File, uh, Real-Time Preview, choose Google Chrome. It's going to ask me if I want to save. I'm going to choose Yes. And here is my button. That's my rollover button there, right? When I click on it, nothing happens. But I can change that later. I will change that later on. I'm going to reduce the size of this because otherwise all the buttons won't fit. So let me go back to my Dreamweaver. And at the properties window, um, so click on the button. And in the properties window, it should be at the very bottom of your page. You, you can change the sizes you want here. Or you can change it from here as well where it says width and height. So if you're on split view or code view, you can change it from here. I prefer doing it from this thing here. It's just I change one thing and everything changes. So I think about maybe 150 should be fine-ish. Yeah, that, that's, that seems all right. 
150, and then that drops down to 75. I'm going to insert my second button now. So I'm going to go ahead and download all my images and come right back. I'm going to speed through that section though. All right, so that's it. I've downloaded all my images now. You guys have seen how this was done before anyway. I'm gonna now go to my downloads folder and move everything into my website folder. My downloads folder is on the left here and my website folder is on the right. I'm gonna go into images and I'm gonna go to rollover, right? I'm gonna copy all the button stuff that I needed for my website. So everything that says button up and over, I'm gonna copy it into that folder there. Uh, I think I have contact us twice. No, that's fine. Let's just copy that in and we're good to go. Let me just remove this from here so I don't have any issues later on when I move stuff around. And that should be it. I'm going to close both of these now. And then I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver and I'm going to add the rest of the button. So the first one was home. Uh, what was the next one again? Let me go back to my PowerPoint and double check. Um, I can do about us next. That should be all right. Click inside the cell, go to insert, uh, HTML, roll over image, and I'm going to click next here. That's the one that seems to work best for me. This is going to be about us, the original image first, so just a normal one, about us, where's about us? Uh, up, that one there. Then I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do about us over. Click on that, click OK. Alternative text, about us button, click OK. That should insert the button, but again, you're going to need to resize this to match whatever the original button was. My original button was 150 by 75. When you click on this padlock here, what this does, this locks the aspect ratio. What that means is that whenever you change the size of one thing, it changes the other one automatically. So for example, if I click on that, I can type 150 here. But as you can see, the 250 here does not change. I'll, I'll have to type 75 here myself. Whereas if the aspect ratio was locked, what would happen if I click on that and lock the aspect ratio? I change this to 150 and the other one automatically changes to 75. Now I'm going to go through and do that same process for every single button, but I'm going to speed this part up so you see the process again and again and hopefully that should stick. All my buttons have been inserted. I'm going to go to File, Real Time Preview, choose Google Chrome or whichever browser you're testing in, and the web page should load and your rollover images should look something like this. Now, whatever your images are, that's fine, but keep in mind you should be using the PNG images first so that when we go to optimize, we can make the website load faster, be um, smaller in general by using the JPEG images. So leave it as PNG first.